In this video, we're going to look at adding editable boxes to your slide. Notice this slide, I've put a background image in, so students aren't able to change anything on this part of the slide. We're going to insert a text box here, and you just click and drag on the slide how big you want the text box to appear. And then a text box will appear transparent. So you may want to select a fill color. I'm going to make this white. You can also change how that box looks by changing the border weight. So here I'm just going to select two to make the line a little thicker. And you could change the border color if you want. Another option is you can insert a shape. So here I'm going to insert a rectangle. Simply click on the shape, align the crosshairs, click and drag to get the size that you want. These will come already filled in. If you want to change the color, again click the fill color. I'll select white. And again with a shape, I can change the weight of the line so the border is a little thicker. Now we have a box the students will be able to answer the question in. You could also insert a table. You want to keep it a one by one table. The table will automatically appear. Drag it to where you want it. And you'll probably have to resize the table on your slide. Once it's dragged in, a table is also transparent. So I'm going to select a fill color of white. Again, I can change the border weight. And those are three different options for editable boxes students can type in. Now, if you just want to use one, you could just select it once you've made one editable box, copy it, right click on the slide, select paste, and then you just have to slide that new box down to where you want it. So, all three of these types allow the same functionality of students being able to type in that box that you created, and they can answer the question. They won't be able to move anything else on the slide. Whether it's a text box, a table, or a shape, they just click on it and they type in their answer to the question.